I'm Tracy from PoppyLady.com where I share tips and today I'm going to share tips, all of my best tips for new moms and that's for surviving the immediate postpartum period. First of which is baby wearing. So baby wearing, if you wear your baby for three hours a day, there's studies shown that they'll reduce crying by 43%. Plus you just get to have your hands back. It can help you make more breast milk. So I'm a huge advocate for baby wearing and one of my favorites is the Solly Wrap, which I'll show you now. It's made of lensing, which is an Australian beechwood tree, and it's very similar in idea to the Moby wrap or any wrap like that, but I really like this fabric because it's extra breathable. So the way that you're gonna put it on, and by the way, you can wear them until they're 25 pounds or a year old, so we use it a lot. I, I was so sad when my son turned a year old and we couldn't use it anymore. Um, so my best tip for wrapping, it looks really hard and complicated when you watch it on a video, is just practice, 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 practice. It takes some getting used to it, the tension and making sure you're not twisting things. So also do it in front of a mirror helps as well. So you'll find the solid tag that's the middle and put it on your chest. And then you're going to cross in the back. And I just keep tabs on the top, top of this basically to, to keep everything straight. I'm always just operating finding the top of this of the wrap and keeping it like that and then one over the shoulder two over the shoulder and I'm just laying it with a little bit of tension not I'm not pulling it super tight but I kind of tighten as I go okay and then both of these are going to go through if I ever am leave the house and I want to wear her, like if we were going to a friend's house, for example, after COVID, um, I would probably wrap before I left home because if you, when you're wrapping, these fall on the floor. So it's hard to do when you're out in public. So I'll just put this on before I leave and wear it in the car and that makes it easiest to do. So once these are kind of like suspenders here, you're going to cross them. It doesn't matter which way. Kind of like those bridesmaids dresses where you could wear them like a hundred different ways so that was you practicing okay so it's crossed in the front and now i turn around now i'm going to cross it in the back this one doesn't matter as much if it gets twisted here because it's going to end up kind of in a ball but so now it's crossed in the back and now i'm going to bring it to the front and do a double knot here Okay, and I have those. I think it comes in two lengths, like a short or extra long. I don't know, I think this is regular, but some people like having extra length. All right, and I'm ready to put her in. And this is about, you're kind of visualizing how much space is here for your baby. It's, it's tighter than you think that it should be, but you can always loosen it up and adjust accordingly. So now I have Sadie with me. I'm gonna show you the newborn and the regular ways to put them in. So you're going to find the side that's right up against your body and that's the side she's going to go in first so feet first up to the back and it's over one of her shoulders oh and i'm trying to froggy her legs out here like this this is for, for newborns and then again this one i'm going to find her feet go over her shoulder back i want her back to be straight here like i want her spine to be straight with mine and then the last part of it up and over. And this feels really good actually, this is the newborn. So the safety things that you're gonna check for are that it's nice and tight, there's no slack here, that her face is in view, so if I look down I can see her face, uh, that she's close enough to kiss, just the top of their head, which she definitely is, and then that we wanna keep her chin off of her chest, so when they're like this, that can include their airways. So you wanna make sure you could put a finger in between her chin, which she's awake and holding up her chin. If they were super newborns where they, they kind of have their head collapsed on their chest, then you can kind of pull their head back to make sure it's up a little bit. And then you can even pull this over to kind of help you keep their head up. Um, so that is the new baby baby newborn hold. The regular hold for the rest of the time is you bring them in you find the side that's closest to your chest and now you're going to make them straddle it so it's going to go between her legs over the shoulder this one between her legs over the shoulder and then the last part up and over it does have a little pocket here that if i'm like out walking maybe i'll put my cell phone in that and then i tie it up a little bit tighter so that it doesn't fall out um, but she loves this and again this still has all of the same 
it goes by ticks and they have a lot of, of resources on their website if you want to look up more videos and whatnot but uh, this is definitely one of our favorites and then with all baby wearing that I found it can muffin tops is usually a problem for me and I love just throwing on a sweater over this if it's fall especially it's super cozy and a su super cute look I think I have like four different colors of these but I would recommend having at least two is is very awesome if you can do that just because they barf or spit up on it and you have one in the wash and so this is our, one of our go-to's I'll share some more as well The next baby carrier I want to show you is the Ergo 360, which I love. This um, is a little bit intimidating to look at, but it's actually super easy to use. It's my favorite for hiking and if I'm like out running errands, just because you can so easily clip and go. The first thing that you're going to do is find how tall your baby is, and that corresponds to where these Velcro pieces go for this particular model. So my baby is in the 20 to, four, 20 to 24 inch range, so, so these two Velcro pieces are in the red. When you turn it around, all of the ergos have these buttons, which you may or may not know about, so this is super important, whichever ergo you have. Find the button that's either gray or black, and if you are wearing your baby facing you, they're gonna be on the outer black buttons. If you, if you were gonna turn your baby around so that they're looking out, you need to move these buttons into the gray ones, but I'm gonna be wearing Sadie facing me, so they're outside on the black here like this. You can see the gray ones here if you cannot from over there but there's a little flap that covers those, so be sure to look for it. So I'm gonna put this on. It clips around the waist. This is the lower lumbar support part of it. Okay, and then you can adjust by pulling these tabs here tighter or not. I just washed this U-line dry it, which is great. And then this part is for neck support. So she's so little, I have it flipped down. But if they're bigger kids or falling asleep, you'd flip it up. If they're going to face out, flip this part down. Okay, so now I have that bottom part on. I'm going to grab her. And I'm going to show you my personal favorite, which is the cross back way to wear it. So these I have pulled all the way down with the clip. And it's also really easy to do yourself. You don't need a second pair of hands. So I just pull it flat over there. And then sometimes I have to use gravity to help me pull it straight. Then you come around here, this side, clip it in. Perfect. And then the second side, I pull it straight, find this little clip up and over. And you, sometimes I kind of have to like pull it like this to make sure it's all straight and clip in. Um, and I'm usually wearing workout clothes when I'm wearing this one, so the muffin top situation is not awful. This is also my favorite carrier to breastfeed in. I just feel like it's, it's easy because it's so easy to adjust the length. So the way that I do that is I would loosen these a little bit and, and she kind of scoots down. So you're basically trying to line her up with your nipple there. And then I'm wearing like a, 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 a clap down nursing bra and I just pull out my boob and nurse her. And it takes some practice, practice it at home first, like before going out on the trail, this was kind of hard to do, but you just make it work. This, I never did this with my son, but now that I have two kids, you just kind of have to figure out how to make it go on the go. So she's nursing a little bit now, but people see the top of your boob. If you are modest or you just are not super comfortable nursing out, but it's an emergency, these also have these sun packs here. So you could clip, you can hear slipping, clip this up to have a little bit more modesty. Um, and then really only people who are on the side of you would know that even though you were nursing, you would never know. Okay, so this is the cross back way. The normal way that you would wear this Sorry, Sadie, I'm gonna take away your boob from you. Is by doing, I'll show you here. So the normal way that you do it is that these are shorter and they come around each side like this. Pull there. So it's like a, I don't know, like a bra strap, I guess. This one's a little bit harder for me to put on myself 
Um, and it also, for I have chronic back pain and, and the cross back just feels a little bit better for me. Um, but I guess actually I can't do this. I haven't done this in a long time. The last part of it is just that I have trouble with is reaching this back part. So it's better if you have like a partner with you, but I think technically if I worked for a little bit, I could probably um, cross that myself. Um, it's actually pretty comfortable, but I like that other cross back one. So the ergo has four positions that you can carry them in, which is like this facing you. And then I'll show you facing out actually, just so you can see. So let me hand this to my husband. So if I wanted to swap her to facing out, I'm going to flip these buttons into the gray inside. And the ergo is for babies 12 pounds to 48 pounds. So that's about four months to four years. Um, and you could wear them on your back once they're si about six months old. So it's um, facing you, facing out on your back, or you can move this whole thing on your hip, which I have never done that because I like having the weight evenly dispersed. So now I'm going to take her, thank you. And we're gonna have her face out. She actually hasn't done this before, so she might really like it. Um, I'm gonna do the cross back again, just because that's my favorite way. So clip. And then this one. So when you do the cross back, you never are using that. There's one clip that goes unused actually, which is fine. Don't use it. Okay. So this is facing out and she has this little thing here and then this, this can go back in. The other thing that I really like about the Ergo 360 is it has this little pocket here that um, actually Velcro's on and off. So you can put like keys or your phone or whatever you need in here to go hiking is what I usually use it for. Okay, so this is the Ergo 360 and I love it. Definitely recommend getting it. The last baby carrier I wanna show you is the Wild Bird Sling. Again, I have chronic back pain this is my third favorite baby carrier, but I know other people with back pain who like this actually the best, so to each her own. Um, one tip I have for any baby wearing is if you can find a, a certified baby wearing specialist, you can book a one-on-one -on -one appointment, and that's how I figured out what was most comfortable for me, and I highly recommend it. I think it was $100 for an hour, but I baby wore for well over a year. This is my second kid. I'm still using the tips I learned, so it's definitely worth it. Um, I'm not going to show you all of all of the hacks for this because I'm not an expert. Wild Bird has an awesome tutorial, but I just want to kind of show you what, what the sling is all about. So basically, threading it is kind of a whole thing that you have to get it straight up here. And this is how you adjust the tension. And so you kind of pull it across and make sure that's all straight. When you're about to put your baby in it, she recommends like holding your elbow here to pull this straight in, in this in the wild bird video and then putting this part all the way up on your shoulder because it's gonna when the baby comes in it's gonna sink down and it's supposed to be about right there so got that all set up um and then i'm gonna wear her right about in my midline and just gonna tuck in if you could get the hang of this it'd be really nice just because it's pretty like lightweight and easy to grab okay so then this bottom part you're gonna take it and I'm gonna pull out here and shove it up as close to their belly button as you can okay and then pull this part over and to adjust again this up here is gonna make this tighter and over here is gonna make the, the bottom part tighter so I'll just kind of go with what well, feels okay and this they recommended like folding this here to give a little more neck support um yeah and this is fairly comfortable i never quite feel with the sling like i can just do whatever i need it feels a little bit like i still need to kind of protect her so that's why i personally prefer the Sally and ergo better but um again it's it's pretty comfortable and it's pretty darn cute so one other thing I want to show you is how to correctly pick up a car seat. This is important for all parents, but especially those with back pain like myself. So a lot of people want to grab the centermost part of a car seat and kind of do this swingy thing. 
um, which this gives no back support and it kind of throws you off balance. So what you actually want to do is pick it up with the crook of your arm here and your arm is going to go against the innermost part of the car seat like this. And then I'm sliding it up my hip and I'm using my hip, I don't know if you can see, to balance it there. So this way my whole body is, my back is straight and I'm using my hips and my whole body to kind of counterbalance the weight of this and it's way more comfortable. So when you walk around, you keep it in line with your hip. I hope that helps.